Today we're talking about three-dimensional figures, or solid figures, sometimes referred to just as solids. A solid is a three-dimensional figure that encloses a space. And we're gonna to talk today about three important characteristics of solids. The first characteristic we're gonna talk about are the faces of our solid. A face is a flat side of our three-dimensional figure. So here's a three-dimensional figure, and I can see that it's got this rectangular flat side here, that's a face, and it has another rectangle here, another one here, on top it's got a hexagon face, a hexagon on the bottom. The faces don't have to be the same shape, but every flat side that makes that solid is considered a face of the shape. Another characteristic we're gonna talk about are edges. Edges are where you have more than one face coming together and intersecting. Where they intersect, we have an edge. So for example, on this three-dimensional figure, I've got my top piece and a side piece, and they come together right here. This is an edge right here. This line segment is an edge. If I look along the top of the shape, I've got an edge here, I've got one here, here, another here, another here. I've got edges that connect the top piece to the bottom. They're vertical edges. I've got edges along the bottom of the shape. Anywhere where two faces come together and make this line segment, I have an edge. The third characteristic we're gonna talk about are vertices. Vertices are basically corners of our three-dimensional shapes. A single corner would be referred to as a vertex. Plural corners are called vertices. So a vertex is basically the point where three or more edges intersect. So on this shape, I've got like an edge here, here, and here, and where they come together, they form this point. This is my vertex, it's my corner of the shape, okay? Another corner here, another corner here, a corner here, I've got corners along the bottom. So anytime you have a corner, that's a vertex. Multiple corners, vertices. The other thing we wanna talk about today is the difference between two very common solids, prisms and pyramids. So prisms always have two parallel and identical bases. So this guy here is a prism because it's got a top and a bottom, these are considered the bases, that are identical, so they're exactly the same shape and size, identical, and they're also parallel, which means they never touch. If I put my hand along the bottom and the top, I see that these two um, bases never are going to intersect. They're parallel. They're connected by all those sides in the middle, but they themselves will never touch. They're parallel. So I've got two parallel and identical bases. Here's another prism. I've got a top and a bottom. They are identical. They are both hexagon, same size and shape, and they're parallel, okay? So all prisms have two parallel and identical bases, whereas pyramids only have one base. So this would be a pyramid. It's got a pointy vertex right here, but only one base, only one side that is its bottom. Doesn't have an identical top, just one base. So here is another pyramid. Pointy vertex here, one base, one side that it's sitting on. And here's one more pyramid. So pointy top, one base. Another thing that distinguishes prisms and pyramids are um, what the other sides actually form. So if I look at a prism, I've got these two bases, and the bases can be absolutely any shape, okay? But all the adjoining ones, all the shapes in the middle of every prism are rectangles. So the base can be any shape, but the middle pieces are all rectangular. Here's another one. So I've got pentagon and a pentagon base, but everything in the middle as I twist it, you see all these middle sides are rectangles, that's in a prism. Here's another one. Triangle top and bottom, 
but all the middle pieces, rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. Whereas with pyramids, we also have bases that can be any shape, like a hexagon here, but all the other sides are triangles. They're all triangular. So in a pyramid, we've got these triangle sides. Here is another pyramid. This one actually has a triangle base. Base can be anything, but the other sides are all triangles. Here's another one. Base can be anything. This one's a square, but all the other sides of a pyramid are triangles. All of our prisms and our pyramids are always named after their base. So this guy was saying had a square base. This is a square pyramid. This guy has a triangle base. It's a triangle pyramid. This guy has a hexagon base. He's a hexagonal pyramid. And another thing is that um, when I notice that this guy has a hexagon base, I also know that it's gonna be six triangles that meet at this point. It's the same number of triangles as my base has sides, edges. This guy has a base that's a triangle, three edges, three triangles that meet to make this vertex here. Whereas prisms, which are also named after their bases, triangular prism, they've got these rectangles in the middle but they still, three sides to my triangle, three rectangles in the middle, three sides in the middle. I've got a hexagonal prism, hexagon bases, and hexagons have six edges, six rectangles in the middle. So if I hear pentagonal prism, I know that the bases are pentagons, two bases and a prism. And since a pentagon has five sides, five rectangles in the middle. If I hear pentagonal pyramid, I know that I'm going to have a pentagon base, but only one. And pentagons have five sides, so five triangles. So hopefully this gives you some ideas of the differences between prisms and pyramids.